So everyone, if you can tell by the title, this season hasn't gone very well for us, and we're already on my second club. I didn't want this to make this a journeyman, but unfortunately things have happened. Let's get into it. So as you can see guys, we did pretty well um, in the first month in September. Um, we were going to play Kalahora in the last video um, that we mentioned, and we won that 1-0. And then against Logarenes, we lost 3 0. And then Naxara, I think we did pretty well. Started off uh, quite early with an Arena goal. And then followed up by an Ariel cross into Escobar, making it 2 0. And then two goals from Gabriel. And we pretty much had this game sorted by the first half. But in the 68th minute, we decided to finish this off with a 4-0 and a nice header from Gabriel. Probably one of our most competent players this season. We then proceeded to get a win against Brea as well. And Alvarez B. But then it started to turn a little bit sour for us. Uh, we lost to Real Sociedad C quite, I would say, unconvincingly. It was um, a goal from John Martin. Okay in this game. Um, but a simple header just saw us through. And then the, the form to decline around the uh, October months. So we got two draws against San Juan and Tudelano. And then a big victory against Utebio. 4 1 winner there. Four different scorers as well. So yeah, we didn't start too very well in this game. David Sanchez with a penalty and then a goal from Alvaro Garcia. It was quite a, a very ticky-tacky sort of goal, this. Very short passes. And then it was pretty stale until the 74th minute. A, a, a mistake from the defence and goalkeeper to allow Valinho to score. Erardi, who was probably one of our best players throughout the season. And then Alvaro Garcia laying it off to Mayo there. And then in the final few minutes, we had one last goal from Escobar. A comfortable 4-1 win there. And then unfortunately, we played our local rivals, Janita, and then Bilbao Athletic, who pretty much decided to slaughter us. They were the probably the best team in the league. Um, par the eventual winners of the league, which I'll show you in a bit. Easy win for Bilbao. Is that a getting a hat trick as far as I'm aware? We just couldn't cope with the pressure and the quality. And we were allowing simple mistakes to give them a, a very early lead, unfortunately. Another mistake here, allowing Is to get a hat trick. Sanchez with a really good goal and yet again a lucky rebound there I suppose and Alba with the header we were able to claw one back and we did technically win the second half nice goal from Gabriel here but, but we didn't uh, take the advantage of getting that goal there and season on a return so after that we played Multivere at home we were a bit naive in this game um, and decided to not mark anybody, um, not really do anything in the opposition instructions and lose 2 0. Then another defeat with uh, B team Deportivo Ara Aragon. So after a rough November, in December we got a 0 0 draw against Barbastro. A really sort of inconsistent form in December. Uh, Tudelano beating us 5 1, and then us going to then us at home against Utebio winning 4 3. It was probably one of our most unconvincing wins, um, I would say, of all season because it was such a um, hit and miss sort of game for us. But I'll show you the goals from that game right now. David Sanchez with another penalty scored against us in the home leg. And then another mistake to Suarez to make it 2 0 to Utebio. I was. Uh, I was worrying at the moment, but we did get a crawl one back before half time with a nice pass to Mayo 
and then into a stretcher from Irari. Then in the second half, we did turn up the tempo a bit. A Mayo with a lovely goal just outside the box, making it 2 2. Then Eutabio score a goal from outside the box, which is probably one of the best goals on the, in the game. Then we made it 3 3 with a goal from Irari, which I must say as well is a decent. <laughs> Um, decent return and then the penalty days as well but after that we had a really poor January we didn't um, we didn't take we didn't take advantage of that win and lost 2-1 and then 3-3 at home to Calahora and Multivera beat us 2-1 at home it was a very poor performance as you can see by some of the ratings from the players against Multivera didn't do particularly well there. We did bring in one player during January, which was Kermin Sukia, who used to play for Real Sociedad. So he was he was an okay player for us. We just needed a centre back at the time, but unfortunately, he wasn't particularly a major difference. And that was the reason why we'd done that is we'd got rid of our Japanese centre back Daki Niwa. Um, he got better offer from um, Penna. So we got much more in terms of wages than uh, what we were offering at, uh, at our place. So after January, we only got one win, which was against Barcaldo. Again, they were bottom of the league at that time, um, but we did comfortably beat them 4-0 with four goals from four different players. First goal from Santa Maria, which is a great header there. Back here with a set-piece goal. Possibly the best set-piece goal we had on the uh, on the game this season. And Mayo with probably the goal of the season, I would say, for us anyway. Um, he scored some bangers against Utebio but before, but that one was uh, something special. And then Arati, who I think was our key player, making it four there for us. So as I said on stream, um, I said March was probably going to be our most important um, month of the season as we had three home games against teams in and around us um unfortunately we didn't pick up a win during march we lost to the to both um basque b teams in alaves and bilbao athletic we didn't really turn up in either game unfortunately as you can see on the on the right hand side there with 2-0 against alaves and bilbao athletic winning 2-1 although we did compete much better than we did at the uh, home tie against bilbao athletic the most important games was Isarara, uh, Guernica and Brea, and we did not win those games. We needed a win in all of them. Unfortunately, in every single one of those games, we went 1-0 behind straight away. And we had this sort of theme, um, especially in the later half of the season, where we would go 1-0 down and then at half time we would hopefully recover. And then it became quite crucial in April that we win our remaining games, which was Nexara, UGs, and then I will show you the two final games in a moment. But we did beat UGs 3-0, Nexara 2-0, which was a bit of a disappointment. If we'd won that game, I think we would have been in a much better position come the end of the season, but that wasn't the case. But as you can see from the league, we needed to win those two remaining games that we had out of the four. So we had two away games. The first one was against Barbastro, where we won 2-0. Comfortable win against uh, against them. Two goals from Gabriel. The first one being a quick pass and shot from Iglesias to Gabriel, and then he puts it into the net. Lovely goal for us, and I was feeling very confident. And then in the 83rd minute, Mayo playing the ball to Gabriel from outside the box with a lovely hit, making it 2-0, guaranteeing us the win. Unfortunately, we did lose to Izara. It wasn't a good game. We didn't turn up. Potentially, it was the fact that team we did the team meeting before the game, but it was a first-minute header from Ruzi for Izara, and then a penalty from Bicho, and we just did not turn up in this game, as you can see from the stats. 13-6 for Izara, and two shots from us. And as I mentioned at the start of the video, unfortunately, we did get relegated, along with EGs and Real Sociedad C. We just didn't turn up in that last game and we could have potentially qualified for the relegation playoff but it is what it is now i was thinking about potentially doing a new save 
However, I did sim the season for a little bit longer and I have found a new club. We did get two whoppers, one from a, a standard Spanish club and the other from another Bass club. And I have decided to go with the Bass club. I'm going to try and keep the save now more with the Basque emphasis and trying to find Basque clubs to manage to make it a Basque journeyman. So we were originally approached by San Fernando, which is a team not far from Cadiz. They're currently in the division above uh, where, where Reynas were last season. Um, they are only five points away from the relegation um, safety. Unfortunately, this not being a bass club, I didn't decide to go through. And you can see via the finances in the bottom uh, right hand corner there that they were in debt. Um, they do have a little bit of the budget left, but nothing particularly great. Um, but I decided to go against this, and this is the reason why. So we've been approached by a club called Leoa, and they are known as Sociedad Deportivo Leoa. They don't have any specific rivalries, um, BS rivalries. They are in more debt than San Fernando. However, the reason why I've chosen these is because they are a Basque club. They also do have an affiliation with Athletic Club. Um, and we are going to take them over. They're in a much difficult position compared to uh, San Fernando. They're currently uh, seven points off uh, the relegation playoff in the Segunda Federation Group 2. We did try to apply for the Real Union job, that was available, and we also did try to apply for a couple of the B jobs as well. Um, and CD Vitoria, I think, also had a job available, so we applied for them. We didn't get any. I was going to potentially go with the route of um, doing a, a Spanish journeyman, but the fact that Leoa came up and this club in particular isn't far from the Ghetto in the Basque Country. Um, I'll show you on the map just in a moment where they are and where the stadium is based. But we, um, we're in a much difficult situation here and we also potentially could get relegated as well. But what I wanted to do was try and keep that emphasis on Basque Club. And I didn't want to give up on this save. I could have easily decided to go and do a new save, but I wanted to keep this going. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna give this a go, and you can join me in uh, getting the negotiations ongoing. We're going to do this right now, and we'll go through the club, we'll go through the squad, and we'll go through the finances. We will be in a bit of trouble here, I think. But the media prediction is 12th. We don't have a director of football. The club was founded in 1948. They're only major honours have been the Spanish 5th Division Group 4 and I'm not going to even try and pronounce that because I will struggle. Um, we do enter the Copa del Rey which the Ghetto didn't do that in the last season and we're currently 16th in Group 2. Um, we play at the Sarina which is um, built in 1988. 2000 capacity, we've got basic training facilities, basic facilities, fairly basic youth recruitment Finances are insecure, the transfer budget is in the negative, and we've only got a wage budget of £40,783 per week. Um, so the overall the overall goals for the club is to mainly strive to make progress on and off the pitch. Achieve actionable objectives, sorry, uh, work within the wage budget, which we'll try and do. Maximum of one year contracts over the age of 44, which is what I like at the moment. Um, and to avoid relegation from Group 2, which hopefully we can try and do, and then be competitive in the Copa del Rey. We've been given a one-year deal. Our contract expires next season, but obviously if we do get relegated, we could, we will, we will lose our, our job, and we'll have to go for this again. But as you say, the goal this season is to try and save the club from relegation. Our profile, so we've got 12% hardcore, 35% core, 22% family, 12% fair, no corporate, and 19% casual. I've got 17,000 followers on social media, 500 supporters who are season ticket holders. There's no season ticket holders waiting on the list. 
the goal of the season. Let's just see how much money we get in terms of. So we get two grand extra for finishing mid table. I don't see any benefit of that at all. I don't think we'll finish mid table. So this is what the assistant manager suggested. So fluid counter attack. So we added that at Arenas, which is a 4 3 3. Wing play. 5 2 3 is what's suggested. And Gengen press. A 4 2 4. I am going to go with my own style. And I think I'm going to go with a 4 3 3 as well. Um, let's just have a look at the squad overall and just see what the assistant manager has suggested. So he's suggested this team so far. We'll have a look at the squad in a moment in proper. I'm just going to clear the substitute pens and just see who we've got in terms of. So we've got Javi Lopez, who's the backup keeper, I think. And not the main keeper, which is Ibon Brandon Brandiaran. And then we've got a guy called Afiami, who is a fullback, but I'm not sure if he's convincingly shown as a fullback there. So we've got Miquel Angel, who's a centre back. I'm not particularly great in terms of five point, but five foot ten as a defender. Uh, Yuma, pretty decent DM. Uh, I don't think he'd be a centre back, but we could stick him on a defensive midfield role. Maybe improve his, uh, maybe improve his uh, strength. But he is what he is. Thirty-nine years old. So I don't think that's going to happen. He is a staff member though, and he looks more promising than um, previous guy we had. Karenas, twenty-four. Looks like a decent midfielder, creative midfielder as well easily stick him on as an advanced playmaker he's got a little bit of flair about him which i like uh we've got estrada probably a decent central midfield attacker lucas recoy who is 21 and looks fairly decent to be fair can play both wings um looks like an okay advanced forward maybe uh, and then we've got terra grossa we we do seem to have um I'm just having a previous look at the team. We do seem to have quite a bit of poachers. So we've got Rico Perez. Raco Perez. Doesn't like big matches, unfortunately. He dreads them, which is not great. Uh, five foot nine, decent advance forward. I don't want us to be focusing too heavily on having poachers in the team. Uh, Pau Vidal, probably the best striker we've got. I would say, and it's probably going to be an advanced forward, one forward. Hey, said that twice there. What annoys me is we've loaned this guy out, who's Ukrainian, Vladislav Kapotin. And he's doing all right as well. I don't think we can recall him. It can be recalled in January, but he looks like a decent striker, to be fair. He's six foot one, and he's only 24. Um, it did all right, which is why I can't understand why they've loaned him out. John uh, Galarraza. Looks like a fairly okay centre-back. Composure and concentration and his bravery isn't particularly great. Angel Ortega um, is probably going to be one of our full-backs this season, I think. Even though he's 34. Uh, Jeremy Ganali, I think will be our fullback as well. I know he dreads big matches, um, which is going to be a problem going forward. But if you look at his attributes for a fullback in a lower league sort of team, that's what we need. Adrian Perez is probably going to be our centre back, our main centre back going forward. I think we can play him as a stopper or a defender. Yeah, defender probably ideal for what we need. Fran Morega, he's okay. Possibly could sneak this guy at centre back if we were desperate, but doesn't like big matches, which is what also worries me. We've also loaned out Sergio Garcia, which. Um, 
I'm not 100% sure on. I don't know why this guy's really been loaned out. Possibly they've been attracted to the club by uh, agent fees, I don't know, or um, loan fees, sorry. Uh, we do have a decent centre midfielder who's 20 years old here, Timon, Alvaro Timon. Um, he's out for two to five weeks, unfortunately, but he looks promising. And we've got Zubin Buarez. look at him he's probably going to be an advanced forward as well or maybe deep line forward he's not got any strength on unfortunately but maybe we could put him as a traquista um we could have him as a winger as well he's got a lot of pace which could be beneficial in lower league so maybe we will look at using him as a winger on the right hand side potentially this guy and Ari Paredes who we signed on a, a free. Uh, this guy definitely looks interesting. Inside forward, potentially, maybe, or an advanced forward. He's only 17. He's got three and a half star potential, but I mean, it could create some problems. He's not had the worst season so far. Two goals and seven appearances. Um, looking at the schedule we've had so far, so we haven't done particularly well. We drew from the B team with uh, Lagronas. Then we lost to Bilbao Athletic 1 0. We lost to Real Sociedad B 1 0. The only game that they've won so far is against uh, Deportivo Aragon. Rico Perez, who possibly looks like our second best striker. Then we've lost to Tudelano, Multavira, Itebio, Izara, Alves B. And Numancia, and we've got a game against Real Union next. So, I hope you enjoyed the video there. Um, unfortunately, we didn't do very well with Arenas, but we have found a new club um, in the Basque Country, and I think we're going to emphasize on trying to find only clubs that are in the Basque Country. So, maybe we hop from one Basque club to another and end up at one of the big boys in the near future, or like Real Sociedad or Athletic Bilbao, but maybe I'm dreaming there. If you do, did enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. As I said in the previous video, we do this save on Twitch at 9 o'clock every Friday night. So if you do want to come and join us, the link will be in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys, and take it easy.